Hey guys, so um, kind of a drum related uh, video here, but I um, am always looking to try to up my production value, trying to get the most out of my um, cameras and shots. And so as a drummer, one thing that you're always trying to get, uh, at least for me if I'm filming drums, is tight shots that are wide angle. So GoPro is ideal as far as the perspective, and yet I want a little bit higher production value. So I want a little, you know, creamier background. So for instance, a, you know, F2.0, F2.8 is what I'm looking for. So um, the camera that I'm using that's kind of pointed at me that I'm getting a lot of these shots from is a T3i, um, you know, it's, which is now you can get one for like 250 bucks. And then it's got a the 24 millimeter EFS lens on it. But even the 24 millimeter on the crop sensor camera is kind of a tighter shot. So I wanted to do something to get a little bit wider shot without, you know, breaking the bank. So I got this. Um, this is made by Altura. This is a uh, 0.43x wide angle HD lens attachment. So basically, what this is supposed to do is just. Um, you know, just kind of attach on the end of that lens and give me a little wider perspective. So, it's like 35 bucks for this thing. And it just attaches on the end and should give me just a wider um, look. So what I'm, what I'm expecting is I'm expecting it to be pretty clear in the center. I'm expecting a little bit of fisheye effect, not just like a, a nice punch out, you know, per se. Um, not like to just reduce the crop, but I'm, I'm expecting a little bit of fisheye on the edges. I'm expecting the edges to be a little soft and to, you know, again, kind of get a uh, little fish eye going on there, but I'll put a link uh, to this thing in the description below. So my, kind of my approach to this stuff is, you know, people that are like, you know, professional videographers, like I would never use that, or even things like ND filters, like, oh, you gotta have a $300 ND filter. I've got like a $15 variable ND filter that works great for me. And this thing, it's just about what it does, the value of it. So for me, the value of getting a wider shot is huge. So if this does that for 30 bucks, and gives me a wider shot, then it could be super helpful uh, for me. So the only thing, if you wanna get one of these, is make sure that you look at the, um, I guess the thread diameter of whatever lens you're attaching this to. So for instance, um, the, uh, the, the diameter of the thread on that lens, that uh, 24 millimeters, 52 millimeters, like on this one, my 24, uh, my Canon EF24 um, that I have, it's a 58 millimeter. So if it's Canon lenses, uh, pretty, I think a lot of lenses anyways, I have just the, uh, that reading on the front of the lens. So you'll make sure that you want to get one that, um, if you want to try this out for yourself, uh, one that is the same millimeter um, diameter, obviously, as yours. So let's check this thing out. I'm going to slap it on here and um, see what we think. All right, so again, here's the T3i. And uh, I'll show you the shot that I'm currently getting with this. Here we go. Without it. And now with it. All right, so that's with it. So two things about this to notice. One, uh, it is giving me that fisheye effect. I, it's hard to tell, but it looks like there's a little vignetting on the edges. And the other thing that was hard to tell is, is how much the plexiglass, so I'm shooting through plexiglass. So it's kind of hard to tell how much the plexiglass is influencing this image. But I will say, like the effect is good. It's what I want. And so specifically for me, for shooting drum videos, I don't mind a little bit of a vignette. I don't mind if it's a little soft in the corners um, because what it's doing for me is hopefully getting just more drums. Like at the end of the day, I just want a better shot of the drum. So um, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely for 30 bucks, I think it's pretty neat. Um, so it definitely, I can't really tell if it's softer because uh, it's making, you know, the, the glass is making the shot softer or if because it's making it wider at f2.8, the depth of field is a little more exaggerated, like from the middle of the shot to the, to the edge, you know, the fisheye effect, if it's that, or what it is exactly. Um, but it's seen, just looking at here, and obviously look, just looking at the you know, screen here is not the best indicator either, but it seems a little soft, especially towards the edges, but I mean, I kind of expected that. So I'm kind of just messing with it now. All right, so I'm going to just kind of see what this shot looks like.
So just looking from in there, 